So, what's your name? My name's Leela Buttery. And why is eating raw food important for our health? Well, on a biological level, I can say that raw foods are full of enzymes and proteins that haven't been messed with, affected by heating. And so that's really important for your food because the protein itself can be uptaked perfectly by your body. It's bioavailable. But also the enzyme is there to pre-digest those proteins. So if we, and most Americans today, we're not getting the amount of enzymes that we need in our food. Um, but these, these foods that haven't been pasteurized, that are unhomogenized as far as milk is concerned and non-irradiated almonds, um, they are... They are naturally enzymatic rich and that breaks down their protein and therefore we don't get indigestion and also helps us break down more foods and makes us a healthier person. It also is um, full of bacteria that we evolved with um, in a symbiosis to help us as well. Those bacteria, uh, they allow our immunity to be strong and without them we would be sick all the time. I mean that's what's kind of happening in the U.S. right now is just an over sanitization. Um, with all the antibiotics and with cleaning our, our foods so much and heating them, we're not getting any of these bacteria and these enzymes that we need to be healthy. Lila, how do you know all this? I and mean, I think the general public doesn't know everything you just said. How do you know that? I don't know. I don't think that the general public knows all these all this information, and I think that it needs to get out there. I personally um, have a background in biology and environmental science, um, and have studied uh, microbiology for years and looked at these organisms under a microscope and when you when you look at them and when you also pull any digestive juices and uh, from your mouth or from any fluids from your body you'll see that you have all these bacteria naturally E. coli that's the big scare, salmonella that's the big scare Listeria, it's in your gut, it's in your digestive tract right now. You live in harmony every day with it, and you need it in your body. You have an outbreak, uh, uh, you get the, you get that poisoning, salmonella poisoning. So if you know where your um, food is coming from, your chicken, say, then you shouldn't have a. If the chicken doesn't have salmonella poisoning, then the the raw the meat that um, you get from the chicken doesn't have salmonella. And um, I think there's a lot of scare in um, salmonella coming out and you know, milk, but it, it doesn't have salmonella, you know, you, there's never been a scare of salmonella being in milk, I don't, I don't really know how those two got attached, but it's like, oh, you know, this has this bacteria or that bacteria, but we really need to be our own scientists, and I encourage everybody to go out and research these bacteria, look at how it's a symbiosis, how um, they help us, the bacteria, and we give them a host. You know, so that is a symbiosis that has gone through time, a, a great mutualism that we cannot survive without. Um, also, I think that when everybody, if they're going to be their own scientist, they can start to to kind of question, just, just, wow, what's in my food? Um, look at the back of labels, read, if I don't know how to pronounce it, if I'm not sure what that is, look it up, because it might be something terrible for you. Do you really want that in your body? And I think that's the question that um, many of us should just start asking. And, and you ask me how I know all these things. Well, I have the background in it, so I, I kind of know. I have the chemistry behind me to know what those those words are, those molecules that end in all are alcohols, you know, that end in os are actually sugars, you know. And so these are the kind of things that we just need to ask ourselves as as consumers and, and research. And if we're not sure about something or if we're, there's two things that raw milk versus um, pasteurized milk, we'll research it and then give it a try. You know, see how it makes you feel. See what the taste is.